Hi guys, today I will go through with you on psychogeometry, the topic that is rated difficult topic by main students. You will see after this video that psychogeometry is easiest topic in maths. It is quite obvious that you will see this topic in your final exams. Either it is going to be in paper one or it is going to be in section A of paper two or it is going to be in both paper one and paper two. I was so surprised if you check paper two of um, November 2022 and November 2021, the question on circle geometry was on number one, carrying out seven marks. You never know, maybe it is now their trend that number one of paper two in November means paper two, they will be asking about circle geometry. Please don't panic. No matter the diagram will look so complicated, you need to understand the circle geometry theorems and be able to apply them. I have summarized all the circle geometry theorem here. I will show you how to apply them. I have compiled circle geometry questions from past exam question papers, which we are going to revise today. For you to obtain all the marks in circle geometry, it is important that you show working and state the theorem you have used. Don't just say ACB is equals to BDE, which is equals to 80 degrees. You should support your answers by theorems. So these are some of the theorems. There is a theorem that is named alternate segment theorem. And then there is theorem that is named angle at the center theorem and also angles in the same segment theorem, angles in a same circle, the code of a circle, and the cyclic quadrilateral theorem. We are going to look at the question that was examined in Zimseg June 2020 in Maths Paper 1 on number 18. It is reading, in the diagram, A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle with center O. P, D is a tangent to the circle at D, and we are given that A, D, B, this A, D, B is 28 degrees, and then C, B, D is 47 degrees. We are supposed to calculate B, A, D. So first we need to understand which angle we are supposed to calculate. If they are saying BAD, it means the angle that is between BA and AD. So we want to calculate this overall angle. This is our BAD. The theorem that we are going to use is angle in the same circle is 90 degrees. You can see, guys, that this is a um, same circle because this AD is a diameter. So this triangle is a triangle which is in a same circle. So this angle, which is BDA, it is 90 degrees. Let me show you on the theorems. On number 18A, the theorem that we are going to apply is this angle in a same circle. Can you see that we are having a diameter AB and then there is this angle which is BA, BCA. This angle is 90 degrees. You should always know that the angle in a same circle is 90 degrees. That is the theorem that we are going to apply on BAD. So first we uh, find that a, B, D is equals to 90 degrees. Now we have 90 degrees and then we have 28 degrees. We want to find this angle, B, A, D. We are going to say B, A, D is equals to 180 uh, minus 90 plus 28. So our B, A, D, we are going to say 180 minus 90 plus 28 because angles in a triangle, the sum to 180 degrees. 
So we are going to obtain our answer is 62 degrees. So this is how we find BAD. Want now to move on to part B where we are supposed to calculate CDP. First, we need to understand what is our CDP. CDP is this angle. We want to calculate this angle, which is CDP. We are going to apply the theorem that states the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. So we are going to apply this theorem on our CDP. So this line is known as a tangent and then this line is known as chord. So we are saying this angle is also equal to this angle because angle that lies between a tangent and a chord is equal to angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. This is how you obtain your second mark. You just not need to say CDP is equal to 47 degrees, but you are supposed to say it is equal to 47 degrees because angle that lie between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. So next we are going to look at part C. On part C, we want to calculate CAB, which is this angle. This is the angle that we want to calculate CAB. So in order to find CAB, first we need to find CDB. CDB is this angle. We need to calculate this angle first. So we are going to say CDB is equal to, um, can you see guys, this is a tangent and this is a diameter. The angle that lies between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. So overall here, we are having 90 degrees. So in order to find CDB, we are going to say uh, CDB is close to 90 minus 28 plus 47. This is equals to 15 degrees if you punch on our calculators. And the theorem that we have used is angle that lie between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. Now we want to calculate our part C, which is requiring us to find CAB. So we are going to say CAB is equals to CDB, which is equals to 15 degrees. Why? Because angles in the same segment, they are equal. This angle is also equal to this angle because they are in the same segment. And then finally, on June 2020, uh, want to calculate BCD. First, we need to understand what is our BCD. This is our BCD. We want to calculate this angle. So we are going to say, um, either we are going to say angles in a triangle, the sum to 180 degrees. So here we are having 15 degrees, and then this is 47. So we are going to say uh, 180 minus 47 plus 15 in order to get BCD. So if we say 15 plus 47, we are going to obtain 62 degrees and then 180 degrees minus 15 plus 47, we are going to get 118 degrees. So it implies that BCD is equals to 118 degrees because angles in a triangle, they sum to 180 degrees. Another way of finding BCD is of saying opposite angles of cyclic quad they are supplementary, meaning they aid to 180 degrees. We obtained our BAD as 62 degrees. So in order to find uh, BCD, we are going to say 180 minus 62, which is equal to 118 degrees. So this is how you obtain all your marks on this question. You need to show the working 
and also you need to state the theorem that is supporting your workings. Let us move on to another question. Next, we are going to look at the question that was in June 2017, Maths Paper 1. It is reading, in the diagram, points A, B, C, D, and E are on the circumference of a circle, center O. F, A, G is a tangent to the circle at A. B, A, G is equals to 30 degrees. A, D, C is equals to 50 degrees. And D, A, E is equals to 20 degrees. First, we want to calculate A, A, E, C. A, E, C is this angle. So this is the angle that we want to calculate. We are going to say A, E, C is equals to 50 degrees. Here we are having 50 degrees. Also here we are going to have 50 degrees because angles in the same segment are equal. This is the theorem that we are applying. Angles in the same segment are equal. This angle is also equal to this angle because angle in the same segment are equal. So this is how you obtain all your maths. You need to write AEC is equal to ADC, which is equal to 50 degrees because angles in the same segment are equal. Next, we want to calculate ABC. This is our ABC. This is the angle that we want to calculate. Can you see, guys, this is a cyclic quad. It is a quadrilateral with all the corners that are touching the circumference. So here, uh, we are going to apply the cyclic quad theorem, which states state that opposite angles of cyclic quad, they are supplementary, meaning that they sum to 180 degrees. If we say this angle plus this angle, we are supposed to get 180. So if we say 180 minus 50, we are going to get 130. It implies that ABC is equal to 130 degrees. So this is how you obtain all the marks on part B. You need to specify that one ABC is equals to 180 minus 50 because opposite angles of cyclic quad are supplementary. Next, we want to calculate EAF. We need to understand which angle we are supposed to calculate. So EAF is this angle. We want to calculate this angle. Uh, we are going to apply uh, the theorem that says that the angle that lies between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. This is our radius and this is the tangent. Angles that is between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. So this overall angle is 90 degrees. In order to find EAF, we are going to say 90 minus 20, which is close to 70 degrees. This is how you obtain all the marks on EAF. You need to show the working that EAF is obtained by saying 90 degrees minus 20 degrees, which is equals to 70 degrees. And the theorem that is supporting the working is that angle that lies between tangent and radius is 90 degrees. Finally, we want to calculate ACE. ACE is this angle. We are going to apply the alternate segment theorem, which says that the angle that lies between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. So we are having this 70. It is lying between a tangent and a chord. So it is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. So here we are have 70, and also here we are going to obtain 70 degrees. This is the first method of calculating ACE. Another method of calculating ACE is that we are going to say here we are having 20 degrees, and also here it is going to be 20 degrees because angles in the same segment they are equal 
and then uh, this angle which is DCA this overall angle is 90 degrees because it is an angle in a same circle so in order to get this AC in we are going to say 90 minus 20 which is equals to 70 degrees so this is how you obtain all the marks in June 2017 paper 1 you need to show the working and also you need to state the theorem that is supporting your working let us move on to another question let us move on to November 2015 the question is reading in the diagram O is the center of the circle TAS is a tangent to the circle at A BAC is equals to 40 degrees and OBC is equals to 54 degrees we are supposed to calculate OAB so first we need to understand what is our OAB O a B is this angle this is the angle that we want to calculate so in order to calculate or a B we are going to apply the tangent of a circle theorem it states that the angle that is lying between a radius and a tangent is 90 degrees so this overall angle is 90 degrees so this is how you obtain your first mark. You need to show the correct working that OAB is equals to 90 minus 40, which is equals to 50 degrees, because the angle that lies between a tangent and, and radius is 90 degrees. Next, we want to calculate AOB, which is this angle. So from this A to O, we are having a radius and then from B to O, it is radius again. So it implies that we are going to have an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle have two sides which are equal and also two angles which are equal. So it implies that here we are also having 50 degrees. So in order to find AOB, we are going to say AOB is equals to 180 minus 50 plus 50 because angles in a triangle they sum to 180 degrees next we want to calculate adc adc is this angle we are going to apply the cyclic quad theorem we said that opposite angles of cyclic quad they sum to 180 degrees so here this is 50 degrees and then this is 54 we are going to say 50 plus 54 to get this overall angle ABC. So we are going to say 180C is equals to 180 minus 50 plus 54, which is equals to 76 degrees because opposite angles of cyclic quad are supplementary. And then finally, we want to find reflex AOC. If we are saying reflex angle, it is an angle that is greater than 180 degrees. So reflex AOC, it is this angle. That is the angle that we want to calculate. So here we are having 54. It implies that here we also have 54 degrees because this is a radius. This is a radius. They are going to form a isosceles triangle with two equal sides and two equal angles so we need to find this angle we are going to say 180 minus 54 plus 54 which is equals to 72 degrees so now to find reflex aoc we are going to say reflex aoc is 360 minus 80 plus 72 which is equals to 360 minus 152 we are going to obtain 208 as our answer on reflex AOC. This was the complete solution for November 2015 circle geometry question. So this is how you obtain all the marks. You need to show the working and also you need to specify the theorem that is supporting your working. Let us move on to the next question.
This question was in November 2014, Meets Paper 1. It is reading in the diagram ABCD is a circle center O. AOB is equals to 80 degrees and AB is equals to BC. We are supposed to calculate AC beam. So first we need to find what is our AC beam. ACB is this angle. This is the angle that we want to calculate. Here we are given this as 80 degrees. Uh, we are going to say AO and OB, they are radius. They are going to form an isosceles triangle. So here, this is equal to this. And then in order to get OAB, we are going to say 180 minus 8 divided by 2. So if you say 180 minus 8, we get 100. 100 divided by 2, we get 50. So it means this overall is 50. And also this one is 50. And then we are told that this is an isosceles triangle. So here we are having 50. It implies that here we are also going to have 50 degrees because it is an isosceles triangle. And then this is a radius which is going to divide the angle into exactly two equal angles. Now to get ACB, we are going to say 108 minus 100 divided by 2, which is equals to 40 degrees. So here we are going to have our ACB is 40 degrees. Next, we want to calculate ADC, which is this angle. Here we obtained 100 degrees, this ABC. So in order to find ADC, we are going to say 180 minus 100, which is equals to 80 degrees, because opposite angles of cyclic quad, they sum to 180 degrees. And then finally, we want to find OAC. We obtained this overall angle is 50 degrees, and then BAC is 40 degrees. So in order to find OAC, which is this angle, we are going to say 50 degrees minus 40 in order to get 10 degrees. So our OAC is equals to 10 degrees. So this was the complete solution for the circle geometry question that was in November 2014. This is how you obtain all the marks. I have underlined all the answers. You should show the working and also the theorem that was uh, used Next, we are going to work out the question that was in June 2013. It is reading in the diagram, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. TC and TDE are tangents to the circle, and BC is parallel to AT. ADE is 75 degrees, ADC is 58 degrees, and ATD is 31 degrees. We want to calculate ABC. So first we need to understand the angle that we want to calculate. ABC is this angle. Since this is a cyclic quad, in order to find ABC, we are going to say opposite angles of cyclic quad are supplementary. Here we are having 58. So in order to get ABC, we are going to say 180 minus 58. 180 minus 58 is equals to 122. So it implies that ABC is equals to 122 degrees. The theorem that is supporting the waking is opposite angles of cyclic quad are supplementary. Next, we want to calculate CTD which is overall angle here. This is our CTD. But before we calculate CDT, uh, we need to, before we calculate CTD, we need to calculate CDT, which is this angle. We are going to say CT, CDT is equals to 180 minus 75 plus 58 
because angles on a straight line they sum to 180 degrees so we say 180 minus 75 plus 58 we are going to obtain 47 we want to apply this theorem of tangent of a circle it reads that tangents which meet at the same point are equal in length that is the theorem that we want to apply in calculating CDT. We are having tangent CT and tangent DT. They are meeting here at T, so they are equal in length. They are going to form isosceles triangle with two equal angles. So here we obtained 47. It, it also implies that here we are going to have 47 degrees. Now to find CTD, which is this angle, we are going to say CTD is equals to 180 minus 47 plus 47. Let us punch on the calculator. 180 minus 47 plus 47, we are getting 86. So it means that CTD is equals to 86 degrees. So I'm realizing that the question is reading CTD. Oh, it's okay. Next, we want to calculate TAD, which is this angle. So we are going to say angles in a triangle, they sum to 180 degrees. So we say 180 minus this 58 plus this 47 plus this 31. The answer that we are going to obtain is going to be our TAD. So we are saying 180 minus 58 plus 47 plus 31. We are obtaining 44 degrees. So it implies that TAD is equals to 44 degrees. Next, we are going to calculate ATC, which is this angle. We obtained our CD team. CTD is 86. This over angle was 86. So for us to get ATC, we are going to say ATC is equals to 86 minus 31 degrees. 86 minus 31 is equals to 55 degrees. So it implies that our ATC is equals to 55 degrees. And then finally, we want to calculate BAT. BAT is this angle. This is the angle that we want to calculate. And here we are given that BC and AT, the are parallel lines. This is shown by these two arrows. So if we extend EM and also extend EM, we are going to have um, Z angles which are equal. Here we say 180 minus 122. Let us punch on the calculator. 180 minus 122. We are obtaining 58. This is 58 degrees. It also implies that B18 is equal to 58 degrees because parallel lines they form set angles which are equal. This was the complete solution for the question that was in June 2013. This is how you obtain all the marks. You need to show the working and also you need to state the theorem that is supporting your working. Let us move on to the next question. We want to move on to the question that was in November 2010. It is reading in the diagram, A, B, C, D, and E are points on the circumference of a circle center O. B, T is a tangent to the circle, and T, C, D, and A, E, F are straight lines. C, A, E is equals to 68 degrees, CAB is equals to 36 degrees, and BD is parallel to AE. Find the size of CBO. So C, 
B ohm is this angle. This is the angle that we want to calculate first. Before we find CB ohm, we want to be able to complete our diagram. There are other angles that we can calculate using these 36 and 68. We can calculate BDE because we are going to say opposite angles of cyclic quad they sum to 180 degrees. So in order to get BDE, we are going to say 180 minus 36 plus 68. 180 minus 36 plus 68, we are going to obtain 76 degrees. So here we are having 76 degrees on our BDE. And also DEF is going to be 76 degrees. Why? Because the parallel lines form Z angles which are equal. This is 76 and also this is 76. We can calculate AED because we are going to say angles on a straight line, they sum to 180 degrees. So we say AED is 180 minus 76 which is equals to 104. So here we are having 104 degrees. We can also have this angle A, B, D, because we are going to say exterior angle of cyclic quad is equals to opposite interior angle. So here it is also 76 degrees, or we can say uh, angles, opposite angles of cyclic quad, they are supplementary. They are going to add to 180 degrees. If we say 104 plus 76, we are going to get 180 degrees. We can also find ACD, which is this angle, because we are going to say exterior angle of cyclic quad is equal to opposite interior angle. So here we are going to have 76 degrees also, or we say opposite angles of cyclic quad, they are supplementary, meaning the sum to 180 degrees. We can also find this angle because we are going to say opposite angles of cyclic quad, they are supplementary. So for us to get this angle, we say 180 minus 76 plus 68 which is equals to 36. So here we are having 36 degrees. Now we want to calculate CBO. To calculate CBO, we are going to say 180 degrees minus 36 plus 90. This overall angle is 90 degrees. Why? Because it is an angle in a same circle. So for us to get CBO, CBO is equals to 180 degrees minus 90 plus 36. Let us punch on the calculator. 18 minus 90 plus 36. We are obtaining 54. So it implies that CBO is equals to 54 degrees. Next, we want to calculate BTC. BTC is this angle. Uh, so first, we need to calculate this angle, which is CBT. To find CBT, we are going to say 90 minus 54. The theorem that we are using is angle that lies between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. So for us to get this angle, we say 90 minus 54, which is equals to 36 degrees. Now that uh, we have 36 degrees here, this is 90 degrees and also this is 90 degrees. So for us to get CBT, we are going to say, uh, for us to get BTC, we are going to say BTC is equals to 180 minus 90 plus 36. Let us punch on the calculator. 180 minus 90 plus 36.
we are obtaining 54 degrees. So either we are going to say uh, BTC is 180 minus this 90 plus 36, which is equals to 54 degrees. Or we are going to say BTC is equals to 180 minus 36 plus 90. Still, we are going to obtain our answer is 54 degrees. Let us move on to part three. We want to calculate DEF which we have already done. So we are going to say DEF is equals to uh, BDE, which is equals to 76 degrees, because parallel lines, they form at angles which are equal. And then finally, we want to calculate ACB. ACB is this angle. We are going to say angle in a same circle is 90 degrees so this overall angle is 90 degrees for us to get acb we say 90 minus 76 90 minus 76 is equals to 14 degrees so this is the answer on acb this was the complete solution for the question that was in november 2010 on circle geometry so this is how you obtain all the marks you need to show the waking and also you need to show the theorems that are supporting your waking let us move on to the next question the question was in november 2011 on number five it is reading in the diagram a b c and d are points on the circumference of a circle center o a t and c t are tangents to the circle OAC is equals to 30 degrees and ACB is equals to 20 degrees. We are supposed to find AOC. AOC is this angle that we want to calculate first. So here we are having AO being equal to OC. So this is a isosceles triangle. We are going to have 30 degrees here and also 30 degrees here. So to find a OC, we are going to say angles in a triangle, the sum to 180 degrees. So we say 180 minus 30 plus 30, which is equals to 120 degrees. Next, we want to calculate ADC. ADC is this angle. The theorem that we are going to apply is um, angle at the center theorem. It says that angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. This is the theorem that we are going to apply, angle at the center theorem. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So this is the angle at the center. We are having 2x here. The angle at the circumference, it is going to be x. So this is the theorem that we are going to use here. This 120 is our angle at the center. So the angle at the circumference is going to be half of the angle at the center. So here it is going to be 60 degrees. And then BCT, this is our BCT, this angle. This is the angle that we want to calculate. We are going to apply the tangent of the circle theorem, which says that the angle that lies between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. So this whole angle it is supposed to be 90 degrees. So we are going to say um, BCT is equals to 90 minus 30 plus 20, which is equals to 40 because the angle that lies between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. We have applied this theorem, tangent of a circle theorem, which states that the angle between a tangent and a radius is 90 degrees. Next, we want to calculate CAB, which is this angle. So first, we need to calculate CBA, we are going to say opposite angles of cyclic quad, they are supplementary. So here we are having 60 degrees, 
Here we are also going to have 180 minus 60, which is equals to 120 degrees. Another way of calculating CBA is of saying this overall angle. Um, we say to find reflex COA, we say 180. We say 360 minus 120, we get 240. And then we say angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So the half of 240 is 120. So our CBA is 120. And then to find CAB, which is this angle, we are going to say angles in a triangle, they sum to 180 degrees. Here we are having 120, here we are having 20. So we say 180 minus 140 in order to get 40 degrees. So it means that uh, our... Um, our CAB is equals to 40 degrees. Finally, we want to calculate ATC, which is this angle. We are going again to apply the tangent of a circle theorem. We said that the tangents which meet at the same point are equal in length. So here, CT is equals to AT. We are going to have our isosceles triangle with two sides which are equal and also two angles which are equal. Here we are having 40 and 20. So here it means that TCA is 60. It also means that CAT is equals to 60. Now to find ATC, we are going to say ATC is equals to 180 minus 60 plus 60. This was the complete solution for the question that was in November 2011. By doing this, you obtain all the marks. I have underlined the answers and also I have indicated the theorem that we have applied in order to find the answers. Now I want to move on to the final question, which we are going to revise today. The question is reading, the diagram shows points A, B, C and D on the circumference of a circle such that BC is equals to CD, AC and BD intersect at F and CD is produced to E. ACD is equals to 33 degrees and ADE is equals to 87 degrees. We are supposed to calculate ABD. ABD is this angle. So here we are going to say ABD is equals to 33 degrees because angles in the same segment are equal. Here we are having 33. It also implies that we are going to have 33 here. And then uh, CBD. CBD is this angle. Want to calculate this angle CBD. There is a cyclic quad theorem which state that exterior angle is equal to opposite interior angle. So this is our exterior angle, which is 87 degrees. So it means this angle is also equal to this wall angle. Here we are having 87. Also here we are going to have 87. Now to find CBD, we are going to say CBD is 87 minus 33 which is equals to 54 degrees and then on part 3 we want to calculate BAC BAC is this angle we are told that uh, this is an isosceles triangle because this is indicated by these uh, these signs it means that here we are also having 54 degrees. So for us to find BAC, we are going to say BAC is also equal to 54 degrees because angles in the same segment are equal. This 54 is also equal to this 54. And then we want to find ADB, which is this angle. You should know that angles on a straight line, they sum to 180 degrees. 
Here we are having 87 and here it is 54. So for us to get this angle, we say 180 minus 87 plus 54, which is equals to 39. So our AD beam is equals to 39 degrees. And then finally, we want to find CFD. CF CFD is this angle. So we are going to say angles in a triangle, the sum to 180 degrees. So we are going to say 180 minus 33 plus 54 in order to get 93 degrees. So this is how you obtain all the marks on number 5 of June 2011. I have indicated all the working. I have underlined all the answers and I have specified the theorem that I have used in order to find the angles. This marks the end of our tutorial today on revision on circle geometry. Thank you so much guys for following me on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. I love you all. This is Eve signing out.